All right, so here we are. Gonna put on the XL fender flares. We're gonna try to do a complete installation video. So we got everything ready to go. Really haven't done anything yet other than getting ready to do it. At this point, we uh, unsnapped the flares and the front ones and started disconnecting them and kind of looked around assessed what might need to be done on the back ones too next lady was in the house whining so I brought her out to take a quick lap around and say hi So you got to pop these little things off the old fenders and they have to be attached to the new fenders. This little edge thing has to be cut off so the fender flare will clear. Let me get over on this side. Okay. Right, you hit it right here. Yeah. We sized it up and realized that there was another uh, part down below that needed to be trimmed. There's some 5 16 holes that need to be drilled into the fender in several places so uh, you can install the push pins. All right, we're finishing up the final touches on the front ones. The skid plate that uh, Kevin installed on the intruder had some uh, little kick panels that fit into the fender wells that are uh, that UHMW plastic. Uh, really good protection, so they were installed. And the fender flares kind of occupy the same space, so a little bit of that plastic had to be trimmed off so they would fit. Well, here we are wrapping up the final touches on the front ones. There were no real surprises. Uh, the instructions were pretty good. As with any install, the important thing is to take your time and, and be patient. All right, so pulled out screws out of there, cover off, and it should just pop right off. some more screws. The back ones took a little more time. Uh, Kevin utilized those compartments underneath those side covers to uh, install his uh, wires and his control boxes for his RGB whip lights. So that had to be uh, disconnected and, and 
and then rerouted within the new one. So yeah, it just added a little bit of time. There were no special trick on the back ones. Uh, they were pretty much plug and play. A lot of screws uh, had to pull the taillight lenses out and uh, reinstall them in the new ones because that's where they're bolted in at. But overall, it went pretty well. While Kevin was wrapping up all the wiring and stuff for the uh, the whip lights, I got busy on uh, pulling off those lower flares. Uh, there was just two uh, push pins to pull them out. And then uh, the new ones went in pretty smooth. They have an, an extra place for a push pin where it attaches to the frame and that has to be drilled out again a 5 16 hole so those new lower pieces are held in with three push pins and it's a pretty solid mount I might add that uh, when I change my oil on mine I pull that lower panel off it's just three push pins pull it out and you can reach in behind the engine but with that on there these XL fender flares block a lot of access to the back of the engine and make it really difficult to get back there. But that's also a good thing because it protects mud and a lot of other things, rocks and stuff, from flying back there. So uh, these right, uh, new flares the really the add a lot of extra protection. Fender to the flares all on. Sure do make a big difference. I hope you enjoyed this install video. We tried to show a little more detail than we have in the past. Uh, once again, uh, subscribe if you like.